Hey guys, welcome back to my channel on reherozenomoth.com. As you can see, another Guardians of the Galaxy we review this time. It's the Hot Toys Yondu from Volume 2. A long expected figure. The bus was huge when they announced the prototype, and the likeness of Michael Rucco was so shockingly good. So let's see how this transfers to the production piece. But before he's not here by himself, let's have a quick look at the bottom. So this week was my birthday and my lovely girlfriend actually gave me this little baby Groot plant piece. Amazingly cool little throw in from a Guardians of the Galaxy collection. So some real plant up there. So the perfect companion piece for Yondu. Alright, let's get back to the figure and we start out with the box. So pretty straightforward on the box, it's in the same design as the other part of the line with the profile image of Yondu, the arrow on the left in motion and then of course the tape. And as you can see this is the deluxe version, what you will get additionally you will see in the accessory section just ahead. And this is the MS-436. Still dig these designs of these box arts, definitely cool. Alright, and here's the figure out of the box and let's go first, as always, to the accessories. So let's go first for the normal edition accessories. One thing that you already saw on the left counter, let's just take it out here, is this dagger. Basic, but still a good throw-in. Then you have these hovering lightning effects for the so-called Yaka arrow. I will show you this afterwards how this works. So basically you have to put this together. It's um, three translucent pieces and there on the back side the arrow. For a normal pose stance you've got just a default arrow for the holster. Then the amazing fin. I still had hopes that they would somehow throw in a light up feature for the fin but unfortunately they didn't so that's it it does not light up but it's fully magnetic and I will definitely display it with, the, with this piece. Then on the center we've got different hand sculpts all nicely painted I mean look at these details here with all the wings going on so you've got fisted ones and you have hand sculpts to somehow um, have him hold his, his cape I think this one is for the dagger, I think. Or maybe for the... No, sorry. That's probably for the arrow, huh? Somehow like this. So when we go here on the right side, you see uh, the special edition items or the deluxe version items. So this is a blaster or rifle for a rocket. Pretty cool detail. I would have loved to have this with the rocket figure itself. But uh, Hotos knows how they do uh, business. So they give you this as a little add-on for your rocket figure. Then we have the same uh, jetpack like for Star Lord, for recreating the final scene. And then of course the ever-loved Baby Groot. And this time he's coming in his cage from the Taser Face scene. And Let's take him out here. The cage itself is really nicely detailed, lightweight, all plastic, but still stable. And here we go. So this is the baby Groot included with Yondu. Pretty amazing. So that's basically for recreating the scene where baby Groot uh, gets the fin for Yondu. I love the angry expression of Groot here. Of course you can take him off the base. So then of course you got the base with the nice print of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. On mine I think the whole um, cross grabber is a bit loose, a bit too loose. But I think that's just a production problem, not that usual. So getting back up. So here is actually the left forearm gauntlet where you can put in the 
pedal dagger pretty nice and now let's go for the amazing portrait so the recreation of michael Rucco's likeness in my mind is a good 90 maybe even more 90 95 percent it transferred quite well from the prototype maybe i think it's a bit softened up so it's not totally crisp as you would have seen on the prototype pictures when having him in in hand of course it has to do with lighting so let's see how this turns out when we dim the light so for example when i shut down here on the left side you will see that this gets definitely out the details a bit better and also the blue tones is really hard for the camera at least for my camera to pick up but here you can see now all the scars and the veins going on it's crazy so let's get some more details or at least try to I'm still thinking about upgrading to 4k but uh, somehow all these new cameras don't have 60 frames per second so 4k and all this huge data for processing takes a lot of time so but as you can see this definitely has now a bit more depth to it when you dim down the lights look here at the profile there's a bit of a seam going on but it's not that noticeable in person but again here all these veins it's amazingly well painted really damn good here these wrinkles going on very typical for michael rooker so the buzz from uh, the prototype pictures of the announcement of the release definitely paid off and this is this is all really guys i mean can't get better than that i think so and here from the right side which has a bit more um, scarring going on i definitely love this one going down all into his mouth area and then of course you've got the eyes which have a, a red paint application and also have a bit of glare and this makes the figure really realistic personally prefer it more from the profile side left and right and now let's check how this looks with the fin attached so here's the normal um, well basically headpiece and also this one is not translucent it's nicely painted same uh, pattern going on down below and here's what i meant so first of all there was a battery slot so i still had these hopes going on and i love the, the magnet so let's see how this looks now with the fin so let's rescue poor yandu and give him the powers back so here is the fin and as you can see it snaps directly into place with the magnet and here we go with the freaky punk look and it's just damn nice what do you think maybe the figure of the year i'm i'm pretty confident actually so the only thing if there would have been a lineup feature for me that would have been a no-brainer but still also like this perfect figure so hot toys did not cut any corner on this release because when we go now for the tailoring and i i really i'm really all in for nice tailoring on such figures you got everything here on this on this ravager suit and coat it's multi-layered you have this underwear here so when we zoom in you see there's a certain pattern going on on every on this every of these pieces here it's non-detachable so they really tell you not to remove anything and i won't bother because it looks already perfect like this it's crazy i mean already with salad i was so amazed and this one again I mean look at this material and these patterns it's crazy it has this plastic look but still patterned and here on the back side wow all these rings and belts and buckles going on yeah the three arrows the yaka arrows they're fixed in place I mean look at the ravager logo 
well there's a small hook probably for attaching the arrow let's see afterwards and when we go down of course you've got the holster area around the waist this is all loose so nothing really attached like on Star Lord and here on this uh, part of the horse you can actually put in the arrow think like this and here at the bottom there's a small hole where you can somehow fit the full arrow in like this so having him in a relaxed pose here is the rest of the coat it has a darker tone, darker purple tone the one, than the one from Star Lord, but the details are from another world. It's crazy. So, in the last, the tailored knee pads in this olive or green type of fabric, and at the end, we've got the boots. They are coming in this plastic black with some measuring going on are two separate pieces so you actually can um, articulate the ankles down below so now for the moving arrow so these are the three translucent parts just stack them together and at the end we've got the arrow and here is the bottom part which goes directly into the holster like the default one and then it's basically up to your cr um, creative mind to somehow fiddle and place this arrow around Yondu. Not disabled because the holster is not fixed. Um, of course you can maybe use the hook here on the left side somehow to stabilize or then of course use uh, the left hand to have him hold the arrow. So let's try this out. Oh, just on a side note, I just saw that on, on the arrows there was the black rubber piece on the top so that's basically just a protection you can take this off all right now let's get, take the left hand um, in terms of articulation there's a lot of freedom i won't show you this in detail in the video review basically you fill the arrow through like this and of course put the other part in the holster again all right so here we go cool what do you think so nice execution on this concept um, here you see some joints going on uh, just push up the gauntlet and then you can definitely hide this unsightly stuff and yeah, so Hotto has thrown in two hand scarves which are actually meant for having tuck away the, um, the coat to the side so that it looks just more realistic. And overall, I'm definitely happy how they realized the concept with the moving arrow. Did not expect that this could look that cool. So, nice addition. And a lot of freedom for creativity. So then of course let's put on the arrow rig slash jetpack here on the back side first. It comes in these two pieces and on the front side it's definitely the same way like with Star Lord. So and here we go, jetpack attached. You definitely have to push here and there a bit and of course the pins are not totally secure but with some time it's definitely working and now Yondo is ready to take a flight. Okay and then at last here is a rocket volume 2 tiny Groot in a tech pose and so here is basically the blaster attached to rocket. I'm not sure if I use the right hands it does not snuck totally secure but uh, yeah so that's it. Nice little throw in if you already have this figure because I was not a big fan of the little um, single hand blaster that he had in this version actually. Of course you had the huge ass minigun but uh, like that it's pretty pretty cool. 
So final shot in this video review, I got Starlord into this scene and here we go. So there you see the difference in terms of the colorization and the actual uh, overall look. So Yondu with his blue skin definitely is, a, is an eye catcher. So conclusion on Yondu, yes I'm perfectly happy. This is definitely a blind recommendation and thanks for everybody that stayed until this part of the video because I think after one or two minutes you already saw the quality of this piece and it's an instant buy and the perfect edition for your Guardians of the Galaxy 2 um, collection. It's now already sold out or at least on the waitlist on Sideshow, so um, if you anyhow want to proceed with a buy option, I think eBay is the only way to go right now. Definitely go for the deluxe version if you're a fan. There's some cool nice pieces in there. So overall I'm definitely satisfied. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye guys.